So now we're going to go ahead and uh, add a fixture. So we want this fixture to be close to the robot. We want our part to be close to the robot. Like I said, this is very useful for if you know exactly how far away your fixture is away from your robot, but maybe not necessarily the part. Maybe you just don't have a, a 2D CAD of that or 3D CAD of that. And another thing that is nice about this, when you associate the part with it, you also associate the part with the fixture itself. And so anywhere you move the fixture, you also move your part. So let's just go ahead and change this to OK. Apply it. Boom. Just so we have a better contrast of what's going on here. So we've made a video on how to change that color if you didn't catch that. So now we need to click into the table fixture, click parts, and then it has the associated parts that are inside the cell. We're not, they're not associated at the moment actually. We're going to associate them here. These are just the parts that are existent within the cell. So we're going to check that. We're going to hit apply and boom. As you can see, it took the uh, door and automatically added it to the origin. So it, did, it added the origin of the table to the origin of the door. And we're going to uh, edit the part offset. So this is going to change the location of where this door sets. So this is the part that's really important.